all of the components that will make up the irrigation and basin portion. This is the 32 millimeter PVC that we use for irrigation, the four 90 degree joints and T joints that we use to create irrigation around the edge and then one irrigation channel through the middle here. Um, I have the adapter for the pump, the hose that I'm gonna use to move water from the pump to the irrigation system. And I have 180 degree and 360 degree nozzles. We aerosolize the um, nutrient solution, but I'm not sure there's going to be enough pressure in the system. So effectively, it's just gonna spray the roots of the plants. Um, I've also got this 350 gallon per hour bilge pump that pulls water in through the base, pushes it out here through this nozzle. It's a 12 volt pump. I think it requires a two amp fuse. Yeah, it says right here on the top. Um, but that should provide enough pressure to at minimum spray the roots, if not completely aerosolize the solution. Okay, the irrigation channels are complete. This should now fit very nicely down in the basin. It's a snug fit, but it's kind of what I wanted. Next step now is we're gonna drill holes, I think about five centimeters apart all the way across for our aerosol nozzles, which will move the water from the irrigation channels out towards the roots. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this is a little test of the nozzle. And it seems like they form a pretty good seal. So we're gonna go ahead. So now we have our pump, hopefully a sealed system, and then the adapter that will go up to the irrigation. Sitting all assembled. Uh, I've got the bilge pump connected to the adapter, pushed up into the irrigation system. Um, everything looks pretty good now. These are not as lined up as I would have liked them to have been, but I think they'll still work. Uh, I'm possibly gonna drill Maybe one more hole in the middle of this T-junction. I a bit of an anticlimactic moment. The 350 gallon per hour pump did not generate enough pressure to move the water through the system uh, and spray it out the nozzles effectively. So, we're gonna replace the 350 gallon per hour pump with an 1100 gallon per hour pump, which I think should be sufficient. I also am no longer going to be cutting the PVC with this pipe saw, but instead got these really cool PVC cutters. So what we're gonna do is join the 1100 uh, gallon per hour pump to our irrigation system right now.
hopefully this will be powerful enough to create a pressure in the system so that our aerosol nozzles work. Uh, let's see how well this fits. All right, let's see uh, how much pressure we have. <laughs> and it is, look at that, that is fantastic. Okay. Some success here, but I was leaning on the drill at one point and I, I broke through. Fortunately, it broke off in a pe whole piece. So I think I'm just going to remedy, oops, remedy that with a little bit of duct tape. But uh, seven out of eight, pretty good. Okay, so here it is, the completed project. The functioning 1100 gallon per hour pump, the sealed channeling, all the spray nozzles are in place. The net pots are hanging down from the lid right over the irrigation channeling. I drilled a hole in the lid so the wiring can come out, but the lid still holds a seal. The duct tape repair job for my somewhat questionable drilling. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out.